In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve part B of this uh, projectile motion question. So part B says, determine the horizontal range of the ball. Uh, so from part, from part A, so if you haven't watched part A, I would, um, I would recommend uh, watching it now um, and then coming back to this video. But in part A, I solved um, part A, uh, I found the answer, uh, the answer to part A of this question. Um, so we, uh, I found the initial velocity of the ball, which was 2.0 times 10 to the 1 meters per second, which is equivalent to uh, 20 meters per second. Okay, so the initial velocity of the ball uh, is 20 meters per second. Um, so just to refresh on the question, a soccer ball is kicked with an initial velocity directed 53 degrees above the horizontal. The ball lands on a roof 7.2 meters high. The wall of the building is 25 meters away. And it takes the ball 2.1 seconds to pass directly over the wall. Um, so the ball is initially kicked uh, from a distance of 25 meters away from the wall of this building. Uh, the height of the building is 7.2 and the ball passes the building and um, it passes the wall of the building and lands on the roof of the building. So in part B, uh, we need to solve for the horizontal range of the ball. And that means the total horizontal distance that the ball travels. And so that would be uh, the distance from the starting point to the point on the roof. Okay, so it's no longer going to be 25 meters as it was in, um, in part A for the horizontal distance. Um, instead, now we have to find the horizontal distance of the ball. Um, so let's begin by writing out what we know and what we don't know. Um, so we're trying to trying to find the horizontal distance. Uh, where's the point? Okay, here. So what we're looking for is this distance here. So delta dx horizontal displacement um, and for us to find it, we actually first need to find the time it takes for the ball to land on the roof. And to do that, we actually have to only work with um, vertical values. So what we know is we know the initial velocity of the ball. Um, and I'm going to use the vertical component of that velocity. So it's going to be 20 times sine 53. Okay, so that's the that's the vertical component of the velocity of the uh, the initial velocity of the ball. Um, we also know the displacement, the vertical displacement of the ball, um, and that's 7.2. So the ball ends up 7.2 meters above the ground. Um, the acceleration of the ball in the vertical plane is going to be negative 9.8 meters per second. And the reason it's negative is because I'm going to pick a sign convention that says that up is positive and to the right is positive. Okay, so so initially the ball is the ball has a velocity that's uh, directed up, so the initial vertical velocity is positive. The displacement is also positive positive because it goes from being 
at a position of 0 to being at a position of 7.2 above the ground. But the acceleration, since it's directed towards the ground, uh, will have a negative value. Um, and so what we're looking for here is we're looking for the time. So we don't know the time that it takes for the ball to land on the roof. So the, so the kinematics formula that I'm going to use uh, to solve for the time is this one. So it's delta d y is equal to v initial times delta t plus one half times the acceleration times delta t squared. Okay, so that's one of the five kinematics formulas. Um, so now substituting in the values, so it's 7.2 for the vertical displacement, 20 sine 53 for the vertical velocity, delta, that was pretty bad, let me just erase that. Uh, back to the pointer. So, um, which is fine where the pointer is, it's kind of hard to see it. Oh, here, okay. So, delta t plus one half times negative 9.8. times delta t squared. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all these values to the left side of the equal, uh, equal sign. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have, um, so this becomes negative 4.9. So when I move it over, it's going to become positive. So 4.9 and the delta t I'm just going to write as t. So delta t, uh, so 4.9 t squared. Uh, this is approximately 16. So it's going to be negative when I move it over. So negative 16 t um, plus 7.2. Okay, and that's equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. Um, and so since it has decimal values, I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula to solve it. Um, so that's going to be t is equal to, so negative b, so that's 16 plus or minus square root negative 16 squared minus 4 times 4.9 times 7.2 so 4ac and divided by 2 times 4.9 so that gives us 16 plus or minus 10.7 2 divided by 9.8 so we get two values so t1 is going to be um, 2.73 seconds and t2 is going to be 0 0.54 seconds and the reason why there are two times is because um, initially the ball reaches a height of 7.2 so let's say around here and that's that occurs at 0 0.54 seconds so then it goes higher 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 and then eventually once it lands 
on the roof of the building it once again has a, a displacement of 7.2 so we're going to use the larger value okay so this is the value uh, of time when it hits the roof okay to to find the horizontal range of the ball um, so to find the horizontal range all we have to do is use um, v is equal to t, uh, d over t so a fairly simple formula uh, so I'm just gonna do it right here so the the time is 2.73 seconds the horizontal velocity which was found in uh, the previous video that went over the solution to part a um, is 11.905 9.05 meters per second and we're looking for the displacement we're looking for the horizontal range so delta dx is going to equal vx times delta t so that's 11.905 times 2.73 and that's equal to 32.5 meters so that can be rounded to 33 because we want two significant digits since all the values given to us in the question have two significant digits so that will be 33 meters Okay, so that would be the horizontal range of the ball. So 33 meters. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to cover part C of this question. Thanks for watching.